Anything else on forms? Are we moving into Kaizena? Yes. Okay. Um, so the next feedback tool I'm going to show you is Kaizena. It's a Google Docs add-on. So it would only be, um, well, for the free version, it would only be if you're using Google Docs. And I'm going to be modeling how you would give feedback on student work. Um, though I recently watched, a, um, and it's in the Kaizena instruction manual, which I will put right here. Um, it's at the very end and they kind of showed how you could use it with the work that you're pushing out. So your content, um, you can do something similar because I shared, oh yes, Marshall. What's it called again? Kaizena, K-A-I-Z-E-N-A. And I actually heard a, another pronunciation recently, so I could be potentially saying that wrong. But I've always said it like that, so I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna demo it based on giving um, feedback to students on their documents. Um, but anytime you have a shared document, everyone would see those same comments. So just so you know. So I'm gonna share my screen. You can start seeing some of this fun stuff. And I forgot to turn off share my Zoom windows, so it's going to look kind of messy. But I'll make it small. I just won't be able to see anybody, so somebody will have to unmute if I need to, to stop. Okay, so Kaizena is um, an add-on, and it's through Google Docs. So the first thing you'd want to do is open up a Google Doc that you want to give feedback on. So this is a student's essay. Um, and I want to give her some feedback on it. It doesn't have to be writing, um, it just as anything that's in docs. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go click on this add-ons and you need to add it um, if you haven't used it before. So when you go to add-ons, you're going to click there and go to get add-ons. Kaizena usually pops up um, towards the top, but if not, so you can see it's, it's down here but you can also type it in the apps. And it has been whitelisted, so you should be able to, to add it, no problem. Um, so it's already installed for me, but you would have a blue install button right here if you didn't. Um, so once you have it installed, whoops, didn't mean to do that. You need to open it. So you go to add-ons, Kaizena, open Kaizena, and then you can get started. The first time you start, it is going to ask you some questions just to kind of set up your account. Um, it'll just ask you to, to set up a profile. It'll take you through step by step. Um, but Kaizena is a great way to give um, all kinds of feedback um, on student work. Um, there are four type of response options. And this thing is in the way, so let me move this. Yay. I'm going to close this. Um, there are four response options. You can leave a voice response option, which um, I've read a little bit of research that actually says that leaving voice feedback is more effective. Um, so with the free version, you can leave up to 30 second uh, audio files. You can um, attach a skill, and we'll talk a little bit about that, a lesson or a text comment. So we'll start with the two kind of easiest um, in this writing, if I wanted to, so I've left, um, I've left a couple comments already, but here, um, if I wanted to make a voice comment on this particular sentence, I could highlight it. I could change my color. And one tip is um, I've had from teachers is that they color code the different types of comments. So text comments are one color, voice comments are another color, skills, lessons. Um, if that doesn't make sense to you in your organizational system, you might have another reason for choosing different colors, um, but kind of think about those options. So I've highlighted it and I'm going, it tells me what I have highlighted. So the first sentence, and if I want to leave a voice comment, I just click voice message and it's going to record everything I'm saying. I do stop and post. Mm -hmm. And now when the student goes to their document, they'll see that I've left a comment on this sentence. And they can click on the sentence, listen to my recording, voice message, which you can't hear because I have my headphones in, probably. Um, and then I can continue down. Text messages work the same, or text comments work the same way. So I could highlight another section. And actually, um, for this one, 
I'm going to leave a general text comment on the document. So I'm not going to click anywhere actually. And I'm going to click text. And I'm going to say, um, this is my text comment. Yay. And post. This is just a general comment to the document. Um, and I'll, I'll show you how we can change that a little bit later. But I've left, left a text comment. Then there are two other ones, skills and lessons. So skills are actually, if you have a learning target your students were working on specifically, um, capitalization, punctuation, um, verb, subject verb agreement, pronouns, um, maybe it's organizational, you're talking about, or craft, you're talking about a hook in a persuasive essay. Um, if you have them set up in advance, you would say, oh, um, she didn't include the hook here that we were talking about. So I'm going to highlight the sentence. I'm going to select my test. Um, but really, this should say include a hook with your um, at the beginning of your essay. I'm going to give her a score. Maybe it's level zero, maybe it's level one. Um, there's a little description here, and you set those up. Um, in advance before you do these and I'll show you how to do that and then you post it and so this would be if you had a learning target for this particular writing piece you would go through just looking for that learning target and give feedback on just that learning target and the great thing about Kaizena is that um, if you have it set up this way it's very quick um, I know grading writing in particular can take a really long time but if you're very focused on just one learning target or one element of the writing or you have some of these skills and lessons set up in advance, you're not retyping or rewriting it for every student. So if you don't have any skills, um, let me show you how to set that up. So one, you can either go to this three hamburger line and click on skills, and it's going to take you to a new page and you have to do it through your browser. You can't do it through the add-on. So this takes me to, um, well, app.kaizena.com will do the same thing. This took me to my dashboard and I'm on skills. And first I need to do is click new skill. And I'm gonna say, um, I can add correct ending punctuation to my sentences. Okay, now it's gonna ask me to add my levels. So I might, a zero means um, I did not show evidence of this learning target. There's just nothing to even. Um, I needed teacher support to know where my, end, where my ending punctuation place my ending punctuation. Okay, and you would go through and do something for each level you wanted. Um, this is, I have it set up to kind of default to four levels, um, kind of a one through four. You can either remove levels if you don't want that many, or um, you can add them. So I can add another level and go up to five or however many you want to work with. Then when I hit save, this is now back in the document. So if I want to move this again. Add my skill. Now I have this skill there and I can select it. I can give her the correct level. I don't have anything set up for that. <laughs> and hit post. And when the student sees it, they see the, the learning target or the skill, how they scored. And the nice thing is they can then see the other levels. Um, so I, if I were setting this up for reels and not just for demo, I would put my next step would be. So if this is where they are, they are needing teacher support, um, I would have um, my next step could be this. Um, that might be one way. You could also do that in the lessons, which I'll show you next. But the, um, the students can see how to go from where they are to where they might want to be. Skills can also be grouped into rubrics. And you'll see here it says show rubric. Um, if you don't have one set up yet for a document, then you would say add rubric. But this is the rubric. It will um, 
you can set it up and actually let me remove it to kind of show you. If you don't have a rubric, it gives you a choice to either create one from the existing skills that you've been working on in this document. So if you know that for this persuasive essay, you're working off of this complete, I don't know, maybe it's the district rubric, um, maybe it's another one that you've been using, uh, writing with design, um, you can just automatically say existing skills in this conversation and it will automatically group all the skills that you have attached to the document into a rubric that the student can see how they're doing in general um, across all the skills. Um, you can create an empty one and then just build it yourself based on the skills that are on that dashboard. You can use a template. So if you've created one um, in another document, so say we've done other persuasive essays, I wanna use one of those, I could do that, or just the last used one. If you use existing skills, it will automatically add as you add skills to the document. Um, I'll do that. It shows each, um, each skill that you've put in, the score of the student, and it will average. So if I've done four of this skill in the document, it would average all of those together here. So it doesn't do, <sighs> It doesn't show growth over time, so <laughs> it, it definitely does average. So if they're improving over the course of working on this document, you wouldn't see that growth necessarily, you would just see an average. Um, you can do a summary at the bottom. You can add custom text. Um, but I'm gonna show you lessons. Lessons work the same way. You do need to have lessons set up in advance. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. Sorry, I'm gonna go back. In the text messages, you can also add links. So you can embed, um, you can embed YouTube links to them um, and some other videos too, but YouTube will work pretty consistently. So if I wanted to do that, let's say, um, so in this text comment, I didn't attach any um, sentences. I didn't attach any um, video or anything. I can edit the comment here or I can go back later and attach a highlight. So I could edit the comment and I could embed a link to YouTube right here and it would put it within this document. So students aren't having to leave their document to go watch the video. It's embedded right inside on the side. 